Hey, welcome to another Albany Brewcrafters Just For Fun video. Remember uh, Ryan and Alex from the last video? We got something really special tonight. I think this is a world first, actually. We're going to do a blind taste test between Juan of the Elder and Hetty Topper, like the two most highly acclaimed, sought-after double IPAs right now in the whole world, or at least in the United States. So, as you can see, we have all these different cups and glasses on the table. Um, what we're going to do is, we're going to go in my room, we have a person off camera who's going to pour um, the beer. And we're going to do one at a time, and as you can see, we have a third cup, because the person, who, our pour, our steward, brought a wild card beer that we don't know what the identity is. Um, it's just, all we know is it's in a general style. I, oh, she, I don't think she brought a stout or something. Um, so we'll do one at a time, and then uh, we'll come, you know, at the end we'll wrap up and we'll try to identify if we can tell which one is which and also which one uh, we like the best. I've had both of these beers, obviously. Have you guys had either of these? I've had them both. I've had them both. I haven't had Hetty Topper since the brewery actually was a brew pub, but I had plenty for every single one. Yeah. Well, I, well, it's probably been like a month for me on each one, but... It's been over a year for me. Okay. Yeah, it would be well over a year for me. For both. Okay. So between that and the wild card beer, I mean, it'll still be a challenge. So anyways, we're going to go off camera now so that our steward can pour sample A, and we'll be right back. All right, we got our first sample here. So let's just give it a nose. Get a little bit of uh, kind of cat pee kind of smell on it. A, a, a hint, like that sort of sweat sock, just a hint of it. I get really dominant grapefruit hops though. Yeah, definite citrus. What do you think? I think grapefruit like orange straight. I think I'm pulling out some Simcoe, but I think they all have Simcoe in it, don't they? Yeah. Well, we can't judge on appearance, but there's a little bit You can't see a of... white head. Yeah, Very there's white, a... not yellow at all. White kind of frothy head, little. Should we give it a taste now? I think so. Cheers. Mm. It tastes more citrusy than it smells. I, I think it smells more citrusy than it tastes, and <laughs> I get much more of that sort of organic, you know, whatever it is, sweat sock, cat pee, like you said, whatever that is, I get a lot of that. I'm so hot glad I did not get have your taste buds because <laughs> I have never had anything taste like sock or candy. I, I compare it more to peanut like Pinot Gris. If you smell or taste like a really Onda style Pinot Gris, I always get like that sort of organic like a white off. wine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean there's definitely um, orange in here. Kind of like Amarillo type hops. I like the green. Yeah. Fruit. Yeah. Definitely not um, ridiculously bitter. No, it's pretty easy drinking. The the alcohol comes through more than the hops, I think, especially yeah. in the finish. Like I get that numbing sensation on the palate. It must be fairly low ABV because it's not. Well, I mean, I've had Hetty and Plenty, and I think they're both about eight percent. And they're not boozy beers at all. Yeah, so. I would I would put this in that range. I think the hop character really covers it well. Yeah. But I bet it's I bet this beer is in the eight seven and a half to eight and a half range. Probably more like eight eight and a half. Seven would be hard to be called a double. Yeah. Well, we don't know what the mystery beer was. Yeah. It may not be a double IPA. Yeah. Oh. Mystery might be a single. No, I thought you said it was in the style, so would yeah. it be a double. It's in the general style. Oh. So. Yeah. Maybe the person who bought the beer just doesn't know what the hell they're doing. So. <laughs> Surprise, it's a stout. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I like it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I, I like it, but I don't... I can think of ten IPAs I like better than this. Yeah. Whatever it is. I finished my sample. Should we move on to the next one? I don't know if I want to finish mine before I move on. There is more. Yeah, we'll refill at the end. But I don't want to like this. So we got bread and water for palate cleansers here. I think I know what this is. 
I'm gonna hold off guessing until the yeah, end. Yeah, I'm gonna save my I have an idea already, I, but I'm not gonna say. I have a guess as to what it is, but I will again wait. It's really fresh or what it is, though. Yeah, there's no shortage of hops in it. Mm -hmm. Still plenty of bitterness. Mm -hmm. I thought the mouthfeel was a little thin on it. It is, which, which, which is, I think, informing to my guess. Yeah, it's, it's kind of lower end ABV. Lower, probably only seven. <laughs> seven five. All right, so uh, let's go into sample B. All right, sample B in the coffee mugs. Kind of a aroma are you pulling out of this? Can't be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> way, way stronger than the last one. Yeah. Still orangey, similar profile. Whoa. Way different. Yeah, way different. Much, much thicker body. Yeah. Better mouthfeel. More carbonated. More um, aggressively bitter. It's pretty yeah, but not though. throughout. That's yeah. There's it's higher IBU, but you don't get that like palate wrecking. Yeah, Alpha actually seems a little thin on it compared to the last one. Just in general, which I'm surprised because I know two of these beers. Well, they're not like those. I've had those two beers, and they're not like this syrupy type right. IPAs, like uh, say like Maharaja or something like that. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I've always found it's more crispy. Yeah, type. I've always found Pliny fairly thin on the mouthfeel of of the Pliny I've had and then the clones I've had of it. Not that I'm complaining. Yeah, this one I'm surprised. Like it's, I don't know, it just seems thin. I, I like find it. The, I don't find yeah, it. Yeah, I disagree. Yeah, I disagree. I think it's much, much. Beefier of a mouthfeel than the pro than. Sample but then a. Th that also could be. I think it's the head way. is is doing that. It's kind of giving it like a bit of a creamy. And the glassware is not helping. You know, we're not doing proper glassware, and that does affect. Yeah. How you take it. I think it's the bitterness though that's adding yeah. to the mouthfeel. Yeah, yeah. Like there's a back end to it. Salt in your tongue. It's you know relatively clean aftertaste. It's not super drying or anything. Yeah, but the bitterness is lasting. It's assertive in the aftertaste. I'm like really trying to savor all the every last drop on this. So you don't care for this one? No, I like it. I'm just trying to, you know, since we only had about two or three ounces of pour, but we'll get more at the end, I guess. Pretty dominant. I get a pretty dominant orange flavor in this one. Yeah. They had more of that astringent, resiny. Yeah. Almost East Coast style character. Well, maybe not. I get almost like a clown shoes, orange IPA level oh, of orange. Tramp stamp. Yeah. I'm not pulling out the oranges much. <laughs> Which is okay. I mean, it's not overwhelming, but that's the main flavor I get. Lightly resiny, definitely bitter. This is on the pinier side for me than it is on the citrusy side. Well, you know what's funny doing the blind tasting like this is that at least one of these beers so far is either heady or piney, and neither one of them has been like, oh my god, wow, that's delicious. Yeah. You know? Well, I've always thought that they are both overrated, and the limited availability yeah. just yeah. adds to their hype and yeah. I don't buy into it too much. I would be curious to do this again with like rare Belgian beers like West Vatirin 12 oh. something something. We, okay, could, so we could do that too because I got some in the basement. <laughs> I know some people have done side by sides with St. Bernice and the Westy. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I've had both those and I really like the Westy 12. Oh, they all thought that the and they're blind the taste the, the Vernus. That could be. That's that's why I'm curious because yeah. I don't know if that the hype and limited availability really took that for me. All but right. the other time I had plenty, I didn't really like it. Though. I guess we're gonna move on to the next one. All right, 
last sample. This one, I think this has the strongest aroma of the yep. three. Although it's also the greatest not, reservoir of air of the three cups we've had. It's not the most pleasant aroma, though. Maybe no, it's, it's a little... I mean, it's skunky. Citrus. Yeah, it's it's kind of skunky. I don't get skunky. I don't get skunky at all. I get almost like a herbal type of aroma. Yeah, yeah. I get a little bit of the cat pee. I get a lot of citrus. Mm. Wow, that is the strongest flavored one for sure. Yeah, the uh, the so-called dirty uh, smell or whatever that was in the aroma definitely translates to the palate. Yeah, it's um, it's almost like your your summit hops with the garlic and the onion. Yeah, there. there's a there's definitely an herbal, you know vegetal quality to it, but it's not vegetal like uh, you usually get. Yeah, uh, I don't find did, anything uh, like this compared to the, the Summit apps they used. Ryan did an Oscar Blues Governor clone. It's like all, it's, a, it's all Summit hop, right? And yeah. It gets a lot of garlic and onion type flavors, but also a lot of citrus on it. Did you taste any garlic? I did not. I didn't actually taste oh, anything. Okay. Do you want it? Huh? Do you no, want you're talking about no, no, the I'm talking to the homebrew. Oh, the homebrew. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, how would you compare the bitterness to the last two? I think this one's by far the most bitter. You think? Yeah. I thought the last one was more bitter. And it's slightly boozy, too. Yeah, definite alcohol content. <clears throat> that might be covering the bitterness for me. I'm, I think B was probably the most bitter for me. This would probably be tied with A or the least. I'm definitely going to have to do them all side by side. Except, like, the short term memory of, like, a gerbil or something. Goldfish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goldfish. I think this is the most different of the three. The, yeah. The, the most unexpected flavors. Agreed, which. Maybe this is the wild card beer. Because the last two were kind of citrusy and refreshing, and this one's yeah. more. They were kind of more straight ahead. This is, this more is like, a little bit more of a curve. This is more of like a true imperial IPA, like where it's actually. If you're going to split hairs between a double and an imperial, like this is kind of like getting into like that Founder's Devil's Dancer or like Southern Tier. What um, would you call the actual athlete? difference between those two? Between the double and the imperial. Imperial where it's like, um, it's more of like this syrupy, like thick, bordering between a imperial IPA and a barley wine type. You mean like in a big beer sense? Yeah. Like not just more than an IPA, but yeah, a quote unquote big beer. I mean, that's for, I don't, I don't know if BJCP and all those guys have actual, I believe they have the if same. They can, Differentiate between double and imperial, or they're it's just it's under just, the same style. It's, <coughs> it's under one umbrella. Yeah, double slash imperial IPA. Yeah, this is good. This is. Um, I get you though. That with a big beer, it seems like a big beer. Bigger than the other two, maybe. Bigger. This in, is bigger in body, bigger in flavor, and the bitterness is still there. And I've had, I haven't had a sip in a little while now. Out of the three, this is the. I think I most want to like pair this with like a, a hearty meal. Whereas the other two, I think I could drink on my own. Yeah, they're on a little own. lighter. Yeah. You you miss the the elements of those with a a meal. But this is more like a food beer. If I don't think to. the last two I would want to this ruin would, with a meal. <laughs> this would be great with some Mexican or. Uh, it's good on its own. It yeah, is good on its own. I I tend not to drink beer that I really want to taste with food. The is, pizza beer excluded. Is anyone willing to rank? what they thought was best, one, two, three? Um, well, I, I'll do that when we get yeah, all Yeah, why don't we have all three and then we can do that. Okay. All right, so. What do you mean have all three? Well, I, we're going to go back and have a little bit of each yeah. poured again so we can do them against each other. I'm ready. So blind? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we'll reveal it. I should have ate as much bread. Don't fill up on bread. Okay, set. Cut.
I guess we're just going to kind of go at our own pace here about... So, our guesses as to what they were... I said this was the Pliny. I don't remember. The middle glasses. one's very. <laughs> the middle one's very piney. This was sample A. The blue cup was sample yeah, we A. Went a B, C. Coffee cup. Yeah. Why'd you do that? You couldn't go left or nope, right. Nope. Because I wanted to start everybody on the same cup at the same time. I'm sticking with that being piney. C is definitely. I still get that spice and the aroma. Maybe it's just the glasses is dirty or the cup dirty. I don't know. I've never done this before where I've <laughs> stumbled on. Wait. <laughs> My olfactory senses, I'm sure, are all jacked up now. I think this one smells oh, the best. One. The one in the coffee mug, I think, is the best aroma. It's not the one in the pint glass. That is a weird one. All right. I actually think the first one's got the best aroma, but it was like the weakest in the flavor profile. Yep. Ooh, I get like um, the coffee mug. I get a little bit of like a tea kind of taste to it. Yeah, I do now, like green tea. I was just I drinking green tea. And you said that, and I smell it too. Like cheap green tea. That leads me to believe that that's Pliny because a lot of those West Coast ones have that. Whoa. It tastes way different. It does. Holy shit. <laughs> Something in the third one must have yeah. jacked up my palate because this tastes way different now. Chad's absolutely right. It smells and tastes like green tea, and two hours ago I was drinking green tea. Cheap green tea, I guess. The one in the blue cup still has the thinnest mouthfeel. Yep. That's changed the least in the last 20 minutes, I think. Yeah. That's exactly the way I tasted it the first time. And the tall boy. Yeah, so like a resiny, piney kind of hop. Maybe this is an East Coast IPA. When I was telling the our steward, you know, I just I actually suggested a West Coast IPA, like a Racer Five or Sculpin or something like that. So I was like, ah, if you get a Southern Tier or a Dogfish Head, that's just gonna be so obvious. But maybe she got that, and we can't even tell. I don't know. This could be Dogfish I Ninety Minute. Mm, no, it isn't. Yeah, no way. No way. I, I'm just I was just saying that, but of I, any I, IPA in the world, that's the one I know the best, yeah. and it's not. Watch it, watch it turn out to be. Could be. <laughs> I could be totally wrong. That's the glory of this. You could be. You could throw anything out there. And be I always totally get wrong. like a coffee taste on Dogfish ninety minute, but I yeah, it's always got a darker tannic thing to it, and this this doesn't have that. This um, I've got another idea for for the wild card. Yeah, but I was gonna say Maharaja, but you can't get that around here anymore. Hey, you can. Can you? I thought Avery pulled out of New York. They still had some at Oliver's last time I saw. Could be old stock. Maybe. They pulled out? Yeah. I don't I I don't know one way or the other, but if they did it could be old stock. I was, I was just gonna guess uh, an Avery for that one is another or maybe regular Avery IP. I'm not that familiar with their stuff. Well, it would be in a can then. I'm having a hard time trying to decide which one I like the best. Well, before, I would have said I like B the best. Because C has like a crazy sort of vegetal flavor and yeah. A is too thin. I would have liked B the best, but now we came back and it has that green tea flavor and it's, it's weird. I like that. I'm liking that. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's i got to kind of get used to it. Okay, we're going on kind of long, so let's kind of wrap up. So, all right, final guesses. I'm going to say... This is Pliny, this is Heady, and this is the wild card, and I like this one the best. I guess I'd go with your order too. I'm not sure which, what the wild card is. I like be the best. I also like to be the best. I think that's Heady, that's Pliny, that's the mystery one. So we're all in agreement now, I think, on the. What no, because you guys thought Pliny was the one B. Oh, I'm and sorry. I think it's A. Yeah, the coffee mug. Oh sh. Do you think it's A? Yeah. I think Pliny is B. Okay, yeah. that's what Chad said too. Yeah. I think that's it's A. Said. Which and you like? Uh, we all like. I think we all like to be the best at the end of the day. Well, Although it did change, 
and so I'm everyone likes the coffee mug the best, I think. Yeah. I like coffee mug, blue cup, tall cup. I, also, I mean, they're all good. I'm not I saying. also like them in that order, but I think that's heady and that's Pliny, and you guys think Pliny is B. So any more guesses on the mystery? I'm lost. That vegetable it be, character, it's not something... It might be something I've never had before. Maybe we just got Stone and Joy by. Um, it could be, because you might lose that character with a with an older IPA. I don't think you would have that kind of garlicky taste. Like, I don't, Stone's not big on some of the hops, but... Joy by was... Well, I, I would guess... Well, you had it recently, right? Yeah. And what did it taste like? I thought it was more complex than any of these. I mean, actually, yeah. this one. All right, my guess <coughs> for the my guess for the wild card. No, it, it couldn't be gum. No. no, you would know. I'll say. I'll say racer X, not racer five. Racer X. No, because the summit was so obvious in that. Yeah. The racer X is more like a ripa anyway. It's dark. That would explain that kind of spice on there, though. It would, but it wouldn't explain yeah, this could be the rest of the flavor. It. Which one could be enjoyed by? C. C. Well, okay. the wild card, obviously. All right, which one's the wild card, but you guys yeah. are different things. The only no, we all said C was the wild card. Yeah. You all said C is the wild we just, card. I disagreed on the order of A and B being, I said Hetty and Pliny. They were the Pliny, reverse. Hetty. Right, but we all agreed that C would be neither yeah. Pliny nor Hetty. So Ryan and I are both saying Pliny, Hetty, wild card, and Alex is saying Hetty, Pliny, wild card. That's right. So C, we all said, was a mystery one. You want to reveal now? Here's what I can tell you, is you are all wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the big reveal is the coffee cup is the wild card. That's oh. the one that everybody liked the best. Ah. And the wild card beer is... Ballast Point, Scoban IPA, a nice fresh bottle. Wow. <laughs> this has a drink by date of 4 2013 and had just come in at the beer store you right before I got there. <laughs> nice. Alright, so what was the other two? It's funny because I've not been impressed with Scalpin. I've I, had I, the past. I thought it was a solid IPA. But I've never had it that, like, a really good fresh bottle. Pliny one. the Elder was the Blue Cup. This one? I was right. So. Alex was correct. The blue cup, the very first one that you drank. I'm surprised you guys didn't get that. And Hetty Topper like was the one with the oh, funny nose yeah. <laughs> in the big cups. Oh, all right, wow. So nobody likes nobody, nobody wins. Likes <laughs> Topper. No, that's not. Nobody. I, I liked it. I just liked the other two better. Right. Nobody but you know what? Preferred that's, it. Nobody preferred. I it. think it's hard though, also with the small pores and yeah. not small pores. having a flow over your mouth. Yeah. The whole way. Small pour, big cup. Um, also, although that that does kind of um, because Eddie's East Coast, so it's probably a bit more piney than these. But yeah, that's plus. Yeah, so Eddie's usually it is kind of a little bit more dirty, kind of because you have like <laughs> there's actually hop residue that f falls to the bottom of the can, and we might have had uh, some of that in there. So wow. Kudos to me for picking the best beer of the night. Yeah. yeah good job. <laughs> Sculpin was one of the beers I recommended. So. But it's amazing how uh, different they seem when you don't know which is which. So I guess that about wraps it up. So thanks to Ryan, Alex, and the other person for coming over. And uh, what, what yeah, do you think? This was educational. Yeah. We should do yeah. this more often. I would challenge anyone to do... I mean, it's hard to get these beers, but or maybe you can just do if you can get one or the other and just do a blind taste of like if you can get Pliny, have somebody give you a wild card and do that, you know, or if like you can get Eddie and do a wild card, blah blah. All right, I'm rambling. I, I thought, I thought, I thought B and C were much closer than A to either. Actually, well, now what we have to do is drink them, and now that we know which one is which, so we'll do that off camera though. So <laughs> we're going on very very long. Sorry about that. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.